An explosive case involving a well-known TV chef, Paula Dean, and a surprising admission saying that she has used a racial slur in the past. Tonight here, the reaction is growing in ABC Steve Osinsami on why Dean could be in hot water tonight. Already on the radio and online, they're asking for Paula Dean to turn in her apron. One tablespoon of butter. In her ongoing lawsuit with a former employee, the self-described face of Southern cooking and all things butter is fighting accusations that she's secretly a racist, something she denies. In newly released transcripts, she admits she once suggested to an assistant that she hire middle-aged black men to dress up in white jackets and black bow ties for an old Southern plantation wedding. She said she liked that Civil War look, acknowledging it was when black slaves waited on white people, but says she didn't mean anything derogatory. This is a very dangerous situation for Paula Dean. But there's more. She's asked, quote, have you ever used the N-word yourself? Yes, of course, she said. And then later, I'm sure I have, but it's been a very long time. What? <laughs> On ABC's The View today, the issue of words and race blew up. The big question here may be how much does this affect her career? Does and her TV home has had to come out saying that they don't tolerate any form of discrimination. Outside her Savannah restaurant, some of her customers were stunned. I think it's absolutely deplorable, you know. I just don't think that's right. It's you know, not in today's world that it shouldn't be that way. On Twitter, the Emmy Award winning best selling author is having a terrible day. People joking that Paula's best dishes are back of the bus biscuits and the South shall rise again souffle. Her people today gave us a statement saying she doesn't find racial slurs acceptable and explaining that she was born 60 years ago when America's South had schools that were segregated. This is not today. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.